The women's basketball team returns home to Tom Gola Arena this afternoon. I'm joined here by the head coach of the Lady Explorers, Jeff Williams, and Coach LaSalle. Four-game winning streak, a tough victory at St. Louis last week. Now you return home to Tom Gola Arena for your 8-10 opener against Fordham this afternoon. What are some of the things that we should be looking for today? Well, hopefully a lot of energy. Uh, the last time we played here, we didn't do well. Uh, you know, we uh, let Fairfield uh, get one on us, and I thought we were a better team, but uh, we just wasn't uh, prepared to play. And, uh, you know, it's going to be a tough game. It's a conference game. Fordham is uh, playing very well. Uh, they're 9-7 and seven right now. Uh, they really shoot the three well, so we're going to have to defend. And, and we didn't do a great job um, against St. Louis rebounding the ball. So we've been focusing on, you know, boxing out and attacking the Bulls. It does seem like forever since LaSalle has been here in Tom Gullarina. December 22nd was that Fairfield game you're speaking of. All the way back in 2011, we've had a whole calendar year turn since then. <laughs> What's changed for your team since that game against the Stags a few weeks ago? I think we know the importance of conference play, uh, getting off to a good start. Uh, we're on a four-game winning streak. Uh, you know, we just had a tough game up in St. Louis. We didn't p play particularly well in the first half, but we gutted it up and uh, came out with a victory. So hopefully that'll carry over uh, to this game on Wednesday. Speaking of that game against the Billikens, it was Ravonna Campbell, who's usually known for her defense, offensively won that game with the bucket and in the three-point play to finish off the free throw. How has she provided the spark for this team? I think Ravon is a very talented and gifted kid. We've been trying to get her to shoot the ball more. Uh, we know what we're going to get uh, on a defensive event. We know what we're going to get on the boards, 10, 10 to 15 boards, you know, any any given day. We just want her to be more aggressive on the offensive event. She hadn't been making her free throws. I'm just very thankful that she stepped up and, and made that free throw at the end of the game. You, you, the non-conference schedules in the rearview mirror, the Explorers, a very young team. What are some of the things that you learned about this team that are going to help LaSalle and Atlantic 10 play? Well, I, I'm learning that they have it in them to dig deep. Uh, before, you know, when it got tight, uh, teams made runs, we would kind of crumble. But now, uh, the last few games, we, we've had to fight. We've come from behind. Uh, we had to come from behind uh, against St. Louis. I think we were eight down late in the game. And, you know, they're starting to show some fire and, and some confidence. And, and I think that's what that non-conference schedule provided for us. All right, that's head coach Jeff Williams. The Explorers will be right here in Tom Gold Arena taking on Fordham. It's the 8-10 home opener. It'll be a noon tip-off. You can watch the game here on GoExplorers.com. You can listen to the game here on GoExplorers.com. And then LaSalle will finish up their 8-10 homestand this Saturday against Xavier for head coach Jeff Williams. I'm Jared Smith. Thanks a lot, Jared.